All right, on another VirginiaPreps.com Zoomcast, Matt Hatfield here with you as the 2022 high school football season is fast upon us. Games beginning this week, and we're pleased to be joined by one of the best linemen in the entire Commonwealth. He is committed to play his college football for the Tigers of Towson. He plays in the jungle for the Lions of Louisa there in Mineral. I'll tell you what, I've been to a lot of different places across the state, 757-804, Nova, you name it. And one of the best atmospheres for a football game is at Louisa High School. And they open up, I see, against Huguenot this week. Uh, here with us is Quentin Spellman, the newest Towson Tiger. Quentin, thanks for joining us. Congrats on your commitment. Uh, you ready for some football to hit some people? Oh, yes, sir. I'm ready. You know, I'm ready to get in that jungle. You know, everybody coming out, the whole community coming out. It's going to be crazy. Now, I mentioned how neat an atmosphere it is. For those that don't know, we'll get to your commitment in a second. Tell them what, what all goes on uh, at Louisa because they do it up big there for football games. I remember the state semifinal game against Lafayette. You were probably in eighth grade then. Um, and that was that group with uh, Brandon Smith, who's now uh, in the NFL play at Penn State, and just a bunch of great players on that team, Job Whale and all those different guys. Uh, tell the folks what all happens because it, it's like a big uh, – it's like a big uh, – fireworks display and, and the show there i mean before the before the game you got tailgating outside it's crazy you know you know the whole you know we support our community and they you know come come support us at the game you know we come out the tunnel smoke going everywhere sparkles fire you know this year um we had the police come out in the field with us so we had a motorcycle in front of us when we came out the tunnel and the police on the motorcycle would drive out in front of us while we we're running through fireworks and the band's playing, the crowd's going crazy, you know, it's, it's something different. I'll say it's really, it's probably like a college game, maybe bigger than some college games. Yeah, you probably remember that when you were you were in high school yet with that group with uh, Whalen and Thurston and Smith and uh, Malik Bell and others. Uh, but that probably had to get you revved up for you were getting ready to go into high school and say, I want to be a part of this and play in some big, meaningful games, championship type of settings, right? Oh yeah, most definitely. You know, I had I had just transferred in from the neighboring county, Savannah okay. County, and first Louise. I was like totally different. I love it. You know, I want to be a part of something great here. You know. Yeah, and as a media guy, I love it because they treated us well in the press box with a nice little spread of food and so forth. That was really cool. Well, you've made your choice to play at Towson. and you had a really good junior campaign. And for those that don't know, I'll give you some of the numbers here. For our guest here, Quentin Spellman, he was listed with 41 and a half tackles. I'm going to say 42. Let's round it up. Nobody does half the tackles. Uh, six for loss, four sacks, a couple forced fumbles, broke up some passes, all Jefferson District honors. Uh, you had a bunch of schools looking at you. I know FBS, FCS, you name them. What was it about Towson that, that sold you that that was going to be my home for uh, the next four-plus years? You know, just the community. You know, that's one of the biggest things for me, the community and then where it's placed at. When am I going to be surrounded by, you know, I don't want anything bad surrounded. And then the coaching staff really, like, you know, when I first got there, the first thing they got on about was academics, you know. That's a big thing for me and my family. You know, there's always academics first, and then you get on the field. So that's one of the biggest things that I really liked about them. Mm -hmm. What do they see you doing for them, playing defensive tackle or defensive end? What are they, what are they talking about with you? Defensive tackle and are so somewhere in between there, you know, where I really like to get nitty and gritty in. Okay, okay. Uh, Scheme-wise, how similar is it to what you all do defensively at Louisa? Are there, is there a lot of parallels, some differences? How does it, it fit you and your skill set? Is it going to be a lot of learning on the fly? How, how do you kind of view it right now? I mean, they, they run in front of us, same front okay. that Louisa. So, you know, that's one thing they have in common. But, you know, anytime you go into a new program, you just got to learn new stuff. So I'm ready for that. Okay, certainly. And – uh. You mentioned the academic piece there. What do you know what you want to major in yet, or are you undecided at this point? Major in sports medicine. Okay. Cool. So like, Who else was looking at you besides uh, Towson? Did you did you narrow it down to like I know a lot, a lot of players will have a top three, a top five. Did you have anybody else in consideration, or were you really just it was Towson pretty much from the from the jump here? So my top three were ODU, you know, Towson was you know I visited ODU like. Two times, visited Richmond two times, but you know I visited Towson one time. You know when I got there, I loved everything about it. And I was like, you know, it's it's really tough. I just put them three schools out, and it's like at the end of the day, I know I'm a good. You know, I got family too, so I'm not I'm not leaving my mom behind or anything. She knows I'm gonna be safe up there. 
Nice, nice. And I think uh, one of your old Louisa teammates is that Odio, if I'm not mistaken. Is it Noah? Did he play with Noah Robinson? No, Robinson. Yeah, I played. Yep. Okay. And uh, you said Richmond's in the top three as well. But Towson, what do they like most about you as far as uh, what you bring to the table as a football player? And then besides that, what do you think you can bring them? You know, they like they like that I'm not your normal big man. You know, I'm not, I, I can change it up from speed to power and finesse, you know, because basketball was my, my first sport. You know, I fell in love with basketball. And then, you know, I stopped at 6'3 and then got a little way too much. I was like, yeah, I might as well just commit to football. And then, yeah. Okay. And what, what do you think you bring them to the table? You mentioned the finesse that they look like that. What, what is there, is there a player that, that people that they're going to watch Louisa this year, put on your highlight tape, maybe some towels of fans that say, all right, this, this is the, this is the comp. Cause people like to do these draft comps and NFL comps. Is there a player that might remind uh, you of them or what, what, what do you think about all that? I really don't, you know, model myself out there. I just got there and play. You know, I got, I got fired to me, you know. That's that's what I got from Louise, you know, being by Coach Pat, seeing how he loves the game. You know, I hop right on that train with him. I just got a fire, you know. That's just probably one of the persons that, you know, I really, you know, compare myself to from having a fight game and everything, wanting to play, wanting to ball out and play and everything. Okay. Now, you said you're 6'3". What, you, what are you checking at weight-wise? 90. No, 290. I'm going to lose probably about pounds. What's that? You said you got to lose what? Lose about 10 pounds. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, tell me about this Louisa defense this year because you're back. You got uh, you got Eli Brooks back. Got a lot of good parts. And I know there's a talented freshman linebacker who's going to make some noise. Uh, chances could replicate that defense that, that got to the state semifinals or even the championship game a few years back. This defense, this defense is really good, you know. We run a 30 front with three down linemen, and then you can call it a 50. We got two outside back up. You know, outside really good at having containing, you know, D line wreck stuff in the middle. And then we got a transfer from Chancellor. His name Cam. He's really good, really physical. He can run sideline to sideline. And then the freshman runs a 4 4. You know, he can cover a lot of, you know, he can coverage and space, anything you need him to do. And then DB wise, we're, we're really, we're really good at DB wise. We have our quarterback, Landon Wilson, at safety, you know, kind of directing traffic back there. He's really good at that. Okay. What are you working on in your own individual craft to make you not just an all district guy, but first team all region, first team all state, and maybe even a player to your type of guy that can put your team on, on his back and maybe in the championship round come uh, playoff time, November, December? What are you trying to sharpen up on? Me personally, it's just working on double teams, you know. That's that's the main thing I'm gonna get right here and then in college is double teams, double teams. So, you know, that's everything I and that's one thing I do every day at practice is working on splitting double teams, you know. What's your best trait? What do you think is your, your best quality? Is it is it your strength? Is it your speed? Is it something else? Your IQ for the game? What do you think your your number one trait is as a football player? Uh I would get I'll give him my IQ about the game, about the studying. Nice. About it and everything. How much film you watch on average? Average. After you know, after I come home from practice, do my homework, eat. I will probably say I spend most of my time about two to three hours. Okay, so that literally is about what twenty five minutes for Madden. <laughs> no, I actually, I actually do watch film. I actually been taking it really serious this year. You know, okay. that's okay. one thing. I really, I, I watch film. Last year and other years, but, you know, I really didn't know how to break it down. I was just watching it. But this year, you know, I actually helped somebody teach me how to break it down, and it's really good. Well, so what advice would you give a, a young kid out there who's getting ready to embark on the high school journey, maybe a freshman out there, maybe even one of your own freshman teammates or someone out there? You don't want to give too many of the competitors any advice that you're going to be going up against them. You want to beat them. But what would you tell someone about watching film A and B the recruiting process because you've dealt with both of those things and you're still going through the, the film part and becoming a better football player and all those things. What, what would you tell someone? Uh, the film part is not just watching yourself, see what you did on this, see, you know, how, how can I critique myself, you know, watching what the offense is doing, watching what the other teams is doing, watching what your guy, how you can, you know, help all, all together, you know, just don't watch yourself. 
Awesome. Last one before we do some rapid fire and let you roll here. Uh, give me a thought on, on the upcoming season, what it's going to take for this team to be right there come uh, state championship time because you had that big playoff win in 4D last year against EC Glass, who's an explosive team, and they're, they're still in your region, very good team. We know about Salem out west is always really good. GW Danville's got some athletic pieces. Uh, your region's very competitive, and, and I know in the district for years, Louise has just had that long streak that was, you know, recently snapped, but there's some people that always circle that game on the schedule when they play you all. Massaponics is a team outside your district you got early in the season, so what's it going to take for this team to be, not just, you know, whether it's undefeated, but be in the hunt and have a chance to do something come playoff time in your eyes? Just bringing it together and discipline wise, you know, we got a lot of young bucks, you know, I like the laugh and joke, you know, we got, we got a lot of that like the laugh and joke. That's just how we are. But, you know, when it comes to practice time or game time, we just got to, you know, be, always be able to flip that, lock it in. That's one thing Coach Pat's always tell us is lock it in and finish, you know, finish the day. Boom. It doesn't matter what it is, finish work, finish whatever you got going on. Awesome. Well, you ready to play some rapid fire before we let you run here? I'm ready. Here we go with Quentin Spellman, the stud defensive lineman for the Lions of Louisa High and Mineral, headed to Towson to play his college football in the Colonial. All right, what's your favorite TV show? Oh, regular. What is it? Regular show. Regular show? Yeah, regular. What's that? What channel is that on? Is that like a Netflix thing? What is that? It's on HBO. Go. Oh, it's on HBO. So yeah, I don't get HBO. All right. Favorite movie? Uh. Fast and Furious 5. All right. I've gotten that answer before. All right. Could trade places with one person in the world. Who are you picking? Whoa. Ah, that's a tough one. I'm probably going to say Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. All right. Now, he's, he's a lot, lot smaller than you are. You know, I, I like the comedy. All right. You have some funny. You got to have some laughs. Speaking of laughs, who is the best prankster on the Louisa football team? I'm going to say myself. It's definitely me. It's, definitely it's you? Okay. Well, are you the one that's the best impersonation of Coach Patrick? Oh, yeah. You it, are? It, Ian Landon. You and Landon Wilson. All right. That means he's going to he's gonna see us later, make you all do extra sprints and laps and all that things. All right. Uh, favorite late night snack? Uh, I'm going to say cheddar cheese. Okay. Cheddar cheese. If you could be an animal, what animal would you pick? I'm going to say leopard. A leopard. All right. I can dig it. Now, I know the sport you like most besides football is probably basketball since you, you played that, correct? So, so I want to know who's your favorite basketball player and then also who's your favorite football player? Basketball player. I'm going to go with Young Buck. I'm going to go with Jason Tatum. All right. And football, you know, it's got to be Aaron Donald. All right. Last three. Toughest offensive lineman you've gone up against in your career one on one. Who's the toughest guy? Who, who gets your most respect? Uh, my freshman year, he played on our team. David Nunes played on your team. Yeah, he played on my team. I was a freshman. Right. He was a senior. You know, he always gave me. You know, I won some, but he won most of them. But you know, he made me better. All right, who's Quentin Spellman got winning the Super Bowl this coming year? Uh. Mm. I want I want to say my team. Which Who's is your Washington. team? My team's Washington. Oh, at least you got a nickname now. You got the Commanders. You're no longer just the football team. So that's good. But I might have to go with the Rams again. The Rams. No, no, no. I'm gonna go with the Bills. I'm gonna go with the Bills. You're gonna go with the Bills. All right. That was my pick last year, and they had the heartbreak against the Chiefs. I'm a Cardinals fan, so. All right. And then what is your? I know you do well in school, but what is the subject that's your least favorite subject in school? So I'm going a, I'm to a go with math. You know, I started off as a big math person. And then, you know, I hopped on the English, but I, I love English now. But, you know, math just kind of fell off. So I'm going to go with math on that one. Yeah, it, it's it's fun at first when you're learning the easy numbers and they get all complicated with all this trigonometry and algebra and different stuff, and it becomes complicated. I hear you. Well, watch out for this year. He's going to be getting sacks, TFLs, and helping Louisa get victories as they celebrate on the road and also in the jungle on their quest for a championship. Quentin Spillman, the future Towson Tiger. Thank you so much. All the best. Congrats again, and we'll talk again soon. Yes, sir. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you.